right, so it is Sunday morning and this is what we're having for breakfast. This is an egg hash brown scramble that I made yesterday and we're eating the leftovers of it. Basically, I just took some frozen hash browns and I mixed it with some cut up red and green peppers, some turkey sausage crumbles, and then obviously some scrambled eggs with it. And then I mixed that all together in a pan and obviously made a scramble put some cheese on top of that and then I'm also having some wheat toast with it with just some butter on top of it and I'm finishing it out with some orange juice. So that is what we are having for breakfast this Sunday morning. All right, it is a lunch time now and one of my favorite things to make on the weekends is a panini. So here I have, this is the same wheat toast that I had this morning and basically you just put some butter on top of that and then inside I like to have some either turkey lunch meat or some chicken breast meat and this is some chicken breast lunch meat today. And then I put some mozzarella cheese with it and like I said, I make this every weekend. It is my absolute favorite thing to eat and then I also have some watermelon here and I'm finishing it out with some water to drink and then just to let you guys know uh, like I said I make these all the time and this is the panini maker that I use it is called the Riddler panini and sandwich press and it's easy to use and I love it all right, it is Sunday dinner now, and I'm making a new dish that I saw over on Miss Gold Girl's channel. This is a quinoa veggie bake. So I made some quinoa, and then I put in it just some bunch of different mixed up vegetables. There's some squash, zucchini, tomatoes, a green pepper, and then there's also some cheese on top of it. And then I decided to add in some cut up steak just to give it a little bit more filling of a meal and this was the first time I've ever made it and this was so 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 good and I can't wait to make it again my husband and I both raved about it and it was delicious and it was fast and easy to make for dinner all right so it is Monday morning and this is what I'm having for breakfast it is a frozen breakfast sandwich from Jimmy Dean. It's from their Delights line. And I eat one of these every morning just because it's fast and it's easy to make. This is a whole grain English muffin. And then on it is some egg whites, a turkey sausage patty, and then some cheddar cheese. It takes about two minutes to warm this up. And I think it's really filling and it keeps me full throughout the day. And then I also drink one of these half iced tea, half lemonades. And this is my favorite thing to drink. It's only 80 calories. The breakfast sandwich is 260. Uh, so it's a pretty good breakfast. And I pick up both of those at Costco. This is my lunchbox from Vera Bradley. And in it, today I am taking the quinoa veggie bake for lunch. I like these little containers too because it's really easy to warm up my meal when I'm at work and I also don't make a mess with it. And then for my snacks, I'm taking an apple with me. I typically eat that in the afternoon. I also have one of my kind chocolate chunk bars. I've talked about that in my July favorites as well. And then I have some other various bars as well in case I get hungry throughout the day. All right, I forgot to film our dinner last night, but this was some chicken Alfredo pizza that we made, and we also put some artichokes and some spinach on top of it. So this was the leftovers. It doesn't look good, but I swear it was really good when we had it. And then we also, along with that, had a spring mix salad with some dressing on top. For lunch today, I'm taking a spring mix salad with some peppers and grilled chicken on the top of it. I am also taking an apple along for a snack as well as a granola bar. And then of course for breakfast, I'm having my Arnold Palmer and my Jimmy Dean Delight. All right, for dinner tonight, we are having turkey burgers. And this is just one of those sandwich thins and then Underneath it obviously is the turkey burger that I grilled out and I put ketchup on mine. I've got some waffle fries and then we're also having some uh, watermelon with it. And then how cute are these little things from Target from the Oh Joy line that I put our burgers in. I don't think they have them anymore but it's just fun and it makes your burger look a lot more fun and delicious. All right, here we are now Wednesday, and here's what we're having for breakfast and lunch. I have my Jimmy Dean Delight, of course, eating that again for breakfast like I do every weekday, along with my Arnold Palmer. I'll drink that when I get to work. And then for lunch today, I am taking a spring mix salad again. 
with my peppers on top and chicken. I've got an apple, and then I also have a kind bar. This is one of the caramel and almond sea salt ones. And so yeah, that's everything that I am taking for breakfast and lunch today. For Wednesday night dinner, we decided to try out a new Mexican restaurant. And since I think chips and salsa are a food group, we had to start out with that. And then husband and I each ordered a two tacos. This one here is a chicken fajita taco. And then I also ordered a mahi mahi taco because I absolutely love mahi mahi. And then this is what the husband ordered. He got two steak fajita tacos. It's Thursday, and no surprise what I'm having for breakfast. It's my Jimmy Dean Delight Sandwich, also with my Arnold Palmer, of course. And then today I was kind of sick of salad, so I am just taking a plain old turkey sandwich on some multi-grain bread. And then along with that, I'm having my apples, some veggie straws, and then I'm also taking a granola bar for a snack as well to eat throughout the day. So it's Thursday night and my husband is actually out of town for the night. He'll be back later. So here's what I'm having for my dinner tonight. I'm starting off with a salad while I'm editing a video. And then for my main course, I have some spinach mozzarella ravioli that I pick up at Costco. And it's just really easy to make. You just boil that in water and then I just make some uh, sauce over the top of it. I just warm up some jarred you know, tomato sauce, and then I also put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of it, and it's a quick and fast, easy dinner for me. All right, happy Friday. Here's what I'm taking for lunch and breakfast. Obviously, my Jimmy Dean Delights, and no surprise, again, my Arnold Palmer that I'll drink. And I liked having that sandwich yesterday, so I'm gonna have that same sandwich again. And then I'm also taking some caramel and cheddar corn popcorn mix that my husband brought home for me from his trip. He also always brings home a little bit of a treat for me to eat when he goes out of town. And then I also have an apple that I'm taking for a snack as well, and also a granola bar to eat throughout the day. All right, it is Friday night and we decided to go out for Chinese because we haven't had it in a long time. And this is just some chicken and broccoli. It's my favorite thing to get when we go out for Chinese. And then I also have some steamed rice with it. Happy Saturday morning. My husband and I had a little treat this morning. I was so excited to eat it that I forgot to film it, but these are just some Cinnabon cinnamon rolls that we got at the store and you just basically pop them in the oven and put the frosting on top of it. And it was so worth the calories to eat this. It was really, really good. And for lunch, I am just eating my leftover Chinese from last night. Chinese leftovers are also another thing that I absolutely love to eat. And then this is our Saturday night dinner. I try to eat fish at least once a week. So this is some mahi-mahi that I put on the grill. I pick it up at Costco in the frozen section. And I just put some basil and some Parmesan cheese and breadcrumbs on top of it. And then this is a vegetable mix that I just made of some zucchini and squash. And I put some olive oil on it and some Italian seasoning and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And I just put that on the grill for a little bit. This is actually my husband's two favorite vegetables. So that's why we're having this tonight. And then for another side, I picked up from Trader Joe's. It is this mushroom risotto. And it's so fast and easy to make. It takes like five minutes and it is really, really good. So that's our Saturday night dinner.